Nice to be here. Nice that you are back. Finally you are back. Yes. I always see <laughs> pictures on Facebook. You are lying down on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I know. You <laughs> make us jealous. Cheers. 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 Actually, my first party is my mom came with me because she loves dancing. Um, many parties she came with me at Bunker. Bunker is really like a bunker here in Berlin now. It's an exhibition place. A guy bought it actually. Living there, and the bunker presented like GABA music, a house floor, and techno floor. It was one of the most hardest club in Berlin, mm -hmm. music wise. Mm -hmm. And my mother entered, Wow, it's nice! <laughs> you really you like it? Yeah, yeah. And she came uh, with friends and stuff. Um, years later, she's very proud, she's still um, cutting all the interviews out. If something is in the city or tip, she's always searching for me. If there are no interviews, she's asking me, Ellen, there are since some months or one year no interviews of yours. Everything okay? She's calling <laughs> me for that. <laughs> My mother never took this techno business uh, for, uh, seriously. seriously after um, I came from one of my first raves, must be around like 91, 92 mm -hmm. and I was sitting with my mother at the breakfast afterwards and uh, she had like a washing machine on <laughs> and I was asking her where's the music coming from <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I, I needed some convincing afterwards like telling her like I'm DJ I'm making like music yeah oh yeah music <laughs> right that's amazing but my father though was a totally different case uh, he was always listening to Paul Hardcastle and 80s electro stuff so. I actually, oh, okay. I, I actually grabbed some records from him. Oh, that's yeah. good. Okay. My parents are actually really supportive. They always have been. They bought me my first turntables oh, in good, good. 1999. <laughs> yeah. And they sat there and listened to me practice in our living room on Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's oh. cute. Yeah. And uh, they came to see me play. One time I played, um, they had in Los Angeles, they had Fridays off the 405 up at the Getty Museum, which overlooks LA. Um, it's a, like a modern art museum, and and uh, they have like an outdoor party, kind of like PS1 in New York. And I played there on a Friday between for sunset, basically. And they came down, and we spent some days there. And they came up, and my mom had some. Oh, she's gonna love that I'm talking about. <laughs> my mother had some wine. My dad is uh, loves to take pictures, so he was on stage with his big camera taking Proud pictures. Of you. <laughs> and then my mom, the guys in the audience, I don't know. It's like a, a, I think it's like a Latin dance, the limbo. Do you know this? Where they they hold yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. stick and everybody. I look down when I'm DJing, and my mom is doing the, the limbo, limbo <laughs> with the young guys holding the stick. I look up. Yeah, they're cool. They're super cool. Do you remember how we met? Camille, how I met you? As I think Kiki I met in the club in WMF or Casino. Casino. Casino and then we played together and then we played always together there. And cookies afterwards. And cookies, yeah. And Camille I met... I think not before... Ah, I met you at Hardware. You remember? Of yeah. course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I've been a long term yeah. uh, um, um, fan of your label, yeah. Clink Recordings, and I really like the design. Yeah. And I also like the music because in this period came a lot of minimal art, but not so elegant. And you you present like the, the, the elegant scene oh, of minimal and also the um, the artwork I really liked. And then I asked actually at Hardware, who's doing Clink? I really like that label. Yeah, it's a girl from uh, New York. Oh, okay. And then you came in in this moment. Yeah. Really? You scared me. And then I said, <laughs> she was so like, you're and so then strong she and confident. And you're just like, oh, we're talking. And I was brand new to Berlin. I think maybe I lived here for like one week. And I was like, that's Ellen. <laughs> She's talking to me. No. She knows my label. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And your studio is at home now? Yeah. 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 But how is it to wake up and to go in the studio? You don't need to go I, out to work or it's good to drink coffee and then you work? I like it because I really like to wake up very early to produce music. It would be in a little bit dreamy state. What, if, what, what the neighbors? Uh, I wake up mostly around 8 in the morning. Wow! 
I mean, when I when I did my first album, I used to wake up at six in the morning to have this really oh, dream, really oh, dreamy state. Really? Like, uh, kind of actually, sad, Apex actually. when he made an album, like having all his synthesizers next to his bed, and he just put up an alarm, alarm clock and tried to uh, record something, and then went back to sleep to have this. Oh, it's kind of like the other 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 way than to like uh, uh, be awake late in the night. Yeah. When I when I'm working late in the night, I I don't know. Um, it's different when you DJ because it's a party, but if you're home alone, you're kind of like um, yeah. making slower music, maybe ambient or something Your like that. Your neighbors don't mind music at 6 in the morning, 8 in the morning? Uh, I don't put the full loudness that time, but around okay. 10 I can crank it up basically, <laughs> and because uh, I know that everybody's at work. Yeah, and you crank between, you make it loud between 10 and... Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's amazing that you can do that. Yeah. Because I mean, sometimes... everybody's gone. I, I hear around around three. Um, there's like a kids' room upstairs okay, from my studio, there. and I hear them around three or four when <laughs> and I come. Then you can stop. And, and they make even more noise than I do. They're okay. always playing this uh, dancing game, you know. Oh. So they, you, you just hear them jumping oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, the weekend dance. And actually, the parents came down and asked us if it's like uh, if it's too loud. <laughs> <laughs>